Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning for the week of November 15th through the 21st. And I have this really cute orange umbrella co kit. It's probably more springy than fall, but it has the cute little hedgehogs and mushrooms and stuff and snails. And kind of the, it gave me like woodland creature vibes, which I figured I could kind of make fall looking. So um, I'm going to experiment with that this week but anyway I'm like I said I'm trying to use up everything that I have that's in this format because I'm going to a different format for 2022 so I'm trying to use up everything I have we are going to try to make this work but I think it's so cute and I'd hate to waste it so I'm going to use this and then I also have um in my reusable sticker book this is from sticker patch and it's got the one where I keep all the stickers and it's all scratched up because my kids got to it. This is why I can't have nice things. Sorry about that. My light went out. Anyway, um, I found these in my reusable sticker book and there's some more little woodland creatures. And, uh, you know, they have flowers, so this might still, again, be springy. Maybe if I don't use the, those, I'll just use, like, the fox and the other snails and stuff. These are from uh, Leftovers from Planner Pixie Co., and so anyway, I just I found these and I'm like I said, I'm trying to use up stuff that I have. I think I can make this work, but we will see. Anyway, sit back and relax. I have water to drink because it's morning and I'm trying to do better about my water goals. So, but you know, feel free to pour whatever you like. Sit back and relax and play with me. Okay, so I'm just going to use these planner Kate numbers that I have left over. I feel us waiting. Listen carefully. Let's stop this charade. Stop this charade. I'm sorry if that hurt your soul a little bit. I feel like that's still crooked. Okay, I need to put this somewhere else because it's going to make me crazy. If I can't line it up at least. There we go. That's better. And this is crooked too now. I want to make things right. Run away on this night. Do whatever we like. We will see things clear.
stickers are from Coffee Break Planner if you didn't catch that. I'm just going to leave it there for work. And then I usually wait and fill in when I start work because it's kind of at a different time. It's getting to be a little bit more normal, but I'm still going to hold off just, um, just in case, I guess. And then, let's see, I don't think there's anything on here I need to use. So I think we're ready for the holidays. Let me pull those out. Okay, so I got my holidays out. And of course, as usual, I start with Crafting One Planner. We have the 15th is National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day. That's a Monday, so it's probably not going to happen, but I love the sentiment. We've been working down our freezer and fridge, though, so we have National Button Day on the 16th. The 17th, National Homemade Bread Day. Yummy. Again, that's a Wednesday, so it's doubtful when we make homemade bread that day because I work, but I work outside of the home. So, you know, doing stuff like that on a Wednesday usually doesn't happen. We have National Princess Day on the 18th. It's cute. That's a little kitty cat. My daughter would really like that. The 19th is National Have a, ba have a Bad Day Day. Why would anybody want to have a bad day? Especially on a Friday. Yuck. Okay, let's hope that doesn't come true. We have Name Your PC Day on the 20th. That sounds like some nerdy stuff to do, but whatever. You know, whatever you're into. Actually, I do. My friend does name, like, all of her objects. And sometimes my objects, <laughs> like computers and stuff. So, we have World Television Day on the 21st. I'm okay with that. Watch some good TV. All right. And that is it for Crafting One Planner. And then for Planner Kate, we have the 15th is Clean Your Fridge Day as well. Let's put that on the monthly. There we go. Yep, you're getting to see a little flash of all of my stuff. We have National Fast Food Day on the 16th. I can handle that. The 17th is Take a Hike Day. I live on a mountain with some really good hiking, actually. So, again, it's a work day, so I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to take a hike. But, you know, whatever. I like the sentiment. Have a bad day day. What's up with this? I'm in like two. Why are y'all wishing this on us on a Friday? Do I even want to put that on my monthly? It sounds scary. Like I'm jinxing it. I don't know. Okay. Then the 21st is National Adoption Day. That's nice. Okay. That's it for Planner Kate. And then we've got National Fast Food Day. This is my Chrissy and Designs from my Celebrations collection. This is for the 16th. We also have National Fast Food Day. I'm putting that loud and proud right there. We've got National Take a Hike Day as well from Chrissy and Designs. I'm so bad at pulling these up. Okay, this is the 17th. That's great. And then we've got Gingerbread Cookie Day on the 21st. I don't know if I've ever actually made homemade gingerbread. That's it for, that is the Sunday, so I could, you know, give that a shot. I think we're, yeah, we're in town on Sunday, so um, that might be a great time to make a uh, gingerbread cookie for the first time. Better late than ever. Wow, that's crooked. That is so bad. Okay, the lady guys were probably screaming through your phone or whatever you watch YouTube on at me. Okay, that looks better. Ooh, sheesh. That's bad. All right. Now we are looking pretty good. I usually plan as I go in terms of my to-do list and sort of filling it in with stickers and decorations. That's the really only decorating I typically do um, right at first. But um, 
my son is scheduled for surgery on Tuesday, so keep us in your thoughts and prayers. It's just like a laser surgery for his face. He has a um, vein malformation, so it looks like bruising on his face. So he has to get that lasered off. Um, it's just cosmetic, and it it's only takes like 10 minutes maybe, but, um, you know, he still has to go under. It's kind of like a tubes procedure for your ears. Like, they just put a mask over your face for like five minutes while they do it, and, and then they're done. So he's had more invasive surgeries for, um, for the vein malformation in his face, but this one is, this one's pretty light at least. So anyway, don't know when all that's going to happen, but actually we probably will end up eating fast food in the hospital. So, um, they have a Chick-fil-A in the hospital. So it's probably what we're going to do anyway. So that's that. And then, um, I don't think I know of anything else big going on. We do have a birthday party that day, but it's on our family calendar. So I'll fill that in as we like figure out what our Saturday is going to look like. So it'll be our first time going to Chuck E. Cheese. So that'll be interesting to see how my kids, uh, react to that one. So anyway, wish us luck getting us out of there ever. I remember we used to give my parents such a hard time. Oops, sorry. the camera. We used to give my parents such a hard time about, um, when, like, if they took us somewhere like that, like, leaving was just a pain in the butt. So, sorry, Mom. I'm probably going to get uh, my karma on that one. But, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome week and um, are just having a gr great time gearing up towards Thanksgiving. It's kind of a hard time for me because, actually, Thursday it will be the, um, was it, wait, was it the 17th or 18th? I thought it was the 18th. Was, um... It's a six year anniversary of my dad's passing. And so, um, you know, Thanksgiving was kind of a hard time for us, but, um, I get to be with my family. And so I'm super excited, uh, to be with them this year for Thanksgiving. So that'll be really nice. But anyway, I hope you guys are gearing up, prepping your turkeys, doing all the things you got to do and, and planning for it. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.